a versatile tool primarily designed for photo and video editing actually. A tool that most use today to increase productivity. Now how is this even related to flight simming? What difference can this make? Over the past few years, there have been more than dozens of hardware out there helping up your experience at flight simulation. A portion called immersion that most of the devs like to tap into. Now this has been the key. Why is this important? The manner users can get feedback helps them make quick decisions, enhancing the overall experience by providing a sense of touch or a physical sensation to the player. An extra layer of immersion and realism to the virtual environment by simulating physical interactions and events, basically getting that acknowledgement from the system. What we're featuring today is something on the lines of convenience and immersion. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chick Mangla. We've heard about Loop Deck a tool that offers a tactile and intuitive interface which enhances the editing workflow, allowing users to make precise adjustments rather quickly. And what are some of the common uses of Loop Deck? Photo editing, editing videos, graphic designing, music production, presentation control, and so much more to make this a useful tool. And this has gained quite some popularity in between the tech-savvy individuals like us. The relation to flight simming that's the purpose of this video, by the way. While Loop Deck has been useful on several areas, what we're more interested in today is the manner this has been designed to help our flight simulation experience. Now, overall, Loop Deck enhances productivity and efficiency in various creative workflows, allowing users to focus more on the artistic expressions than being restricted by mouse and keyboard interactions. The logic and approach is the same, actually, utilizing the same space offering functionality in this case in flight simming. Now you may be able to configure its buttons and controls to emulate certain functions at the sim. You would need to map the controls to relevant commands or key bindings within the sim. But keep in mind that Loop Deck's functionality in this context may not be as comprehensive or specialized as a dedicated flight control hardware. Unboxing We haven't unboxed it yet and carefully tearing away the shipping box to reveal the sleek and compact packaging of the Loop Deck Life. A sleek black box with a Loop Deck logo and a product name building up excitement for what lies inside. With a gentle pull of the tab, the box effortlessly opens, revealing the neatly arranged contents within. Now we see the Loop Deck Life itself, securely placed in a protective foam cutout. The finish is a matte black and surely catches your eye. Now beneath the unit, you see a collection of accessories. Now as we lift the unit from the box, we notice its compact and lightweight design that comfortably fits in your hand and the layout of buttons and dials which feels intuitive and well spaced. There's a USB-C cable for connecting the device to your PC, ensuring a reliable and a speedy connection. You can also find a quick start guide and product documentation, giving us necessary instructions and information to get started. Let's get the setup here with the help of a LoopTech software. First off, the software is nice, it has a good layout and quite powerful in fact. On the top left you can find a selector for the device you're using. A profile selector basically that defaults to a desktop mode. In this case, it's Windows since I'm using a Windows PC. A workspace selector which can be handy to keep your profile separated if you use the Loop Deck Live for work and games as well. On the top right, you have a link to the marketplace and a button for you to access your own account. The deck is shown in the main section of the software and on the right, you have your tool set with a lot of options that you can assign to various controls of the deck. Profile for Microsoft Flight Simulator Yes, fortunately there's one. Loop Deck has a profile for the sim and I searched for profiles for other sims but couldn't really find them. This doesn't mean that a user can't make their own and share them, which would be rather nice. But out of the box, we were fortunate to get one profile for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now looking at the surface of the Loop Deck Life, we notice a range of customizable buttons, each labeled with a clear icon. Now the dials and the buttons have a satisfying tactile feel, promising precise control over your live streaming or content creation workflow. Achieving a personalized experience is within your grasp through profile customization. 
To begin, I added some keyboard assignments at the sim by navigating to the controls option, selecting my keyboard and created two entries for increase altimeter and decrease altimeter. Now assigning control plus B and control plus shift plus B respectively as a corresponding keys. Next, within the loop text software, I generated a new dial adjustment entry and added the shortcuts Shift plus Control plus B for counterclockwise movement plus Control plus B for clockwise movement. Now this completed the setup process which just took a few minutes. By personalizing your profile, you can enhance your experience and tailor the Loop Deck Live controller to what you really need at the sim. What I like here is a clever way to use the same tool that is used for editing and graphic designing on buttons that are key to flying. While Loop Deck may not be technically designed for flight simulation, it still offers benefits when used in this context. Now, Some of the potential advantages the way I see it are customizability. It sure does provide a highly customizable interface, helping us map the buttons, dials and sliders to various functions. Statistics is something I like while flying, helping the pilots really get a chance to realize how much fuel is left or the vertical speed or even setting up a GPS. Now this flexibility alone enables you to create a personalized control setup, sorting our preferences and workflow. One of the other things that comes to my mind would be tactile control. Now using the physical controls offered by loop tech such as knobs and sliders, it always gives you a more tactile and immersive experience if you compare it using a keyboard or a mouse essentially enhancing the realism and enjoyment of flight simming by offering a hands-on approach to controlling different aspects of the aircraft. Efficiency and Workflow Now this intuitive interface can help streamline your workflow by giving quick access to commonly used functions and controls. By assigning specific commands or keybinds to buttons, you can actually execute actions more efficiently and reduce the reliability on keyboard shortcuts or menu navigation. Multifunctionality while Loop Deck is mainly designed for photo and video editing, this versatility alone allows you to channel it towards flight simulation. Now one thing to note is that it's important that Loop Deck doesn't really offer the same level of precision or realism or even a specialized functionality as a dedicated flight control peripheral. If you're looking for a comprehensive flight simulation experience, investing in actually a dedicated flight control hardware, be it a joystick, yoke or even pedals would be recommended but this would greatly serve as an add-on amongst other peripherals you intend to use. Now, can this replace your flight simming hardware? Of course not. It isn't designed to replace that, and for a more immersive and realistic flying experience, it is generally recommended to use dedicated flight control peripherals, including rudder pedals. However, if you still wish to explore using Loop Tech for flight simulation, this would be a chance. What do we think about this? There are a ton of programmable options, Great build quality that tells us about the durability. Great performance that gives constant feedback, which is a needed thing. It can be used for other programs as well. Now above all this, it's not made specifically for flight simming. This can be used for many shortcuts as well, which I wouldn't count as a bad thing, but I had to mention this. Conclusion What do I think about this? As mentioned earlier, 
It's important to note that Loop Tech Live is not specifically designed for flight simulation, nor does it claim to be. However, the product itself is exceptional. It boasts outstanding hardware quality, and the team have included features that can be incredibly useful for flight simmers. This doesn't mean that it's unsuitable for simming. While it may not incorporate VR functionality, it's worth noting that many of the sim-specific hardware options also lack this feature. VR presents numerous advantages, but also introduces challenges in terms of maintaining awareness outside the virtual world. Now, Loop Tech Live stands out for its sturdy construction, impressive performance, extensive range of controls, and programmability, allowing users to adapt it according to their needs within the sim. Now, within the profile that's been offered for Microsoft Flight Simulator, this is a solid starting point for flight simming, which features custom commands and data visualization options. Plus, this can be further expanded upon if desired. I love it, and I think it's a great tool that solves a few problems while simming, and it can also be used for other programs and tools, making it a win-win for both your hobby and professional life. If you're seeking a solution like this, especially one that caters to simming while also enhancing your work or content creation process, I highly recommend considering Loop Tech Life. Immersion is not a simple term these days, and teams can go beyond imaginations to enhance our experience in the world of flight simulation. As always, it's been a true pleasure. Do subscribe for more, and until next time, do take care and happy flying.